Hello there! In today's video, we have the 2013 MacBook Pro 15 inch, and we're going to find out if it's any good in 2023. Or is it bad? Well, I guess you're going to stay until the end of the video. What am I going to talk about in this video today? Well, we're going to talk about is it good in 2023? What's the quality of it? How does it perform in 2023? Is the keyboard amazing? And more. Now, the price I paid for this was $230 on eBay, and it's a really good deal. Yes, it's not fast, it's not fast as the M1, but not everyone has a thousand dollars and it gets the job done. So why is the late 2013 mid 2015 MacBook Pro the best deal if you're on the budget? Yes, you can get a 2016 MacBook Pro for $200 more and have the touch bar, but you should stay away from these due to the keyboard. These keyboards are horrible due to Apple putting the butterfly keyboard. So if you can try to stay away from the years 2016 to 2020 MacBooks. Because the four year coverage has ran out on most of these devices. I'll talk more about this in a different video, but back on to the 2013. It's so impressive that these things are 10 years old and they can do some of the stuff that the newer MacBooks can. I don't mean that these things are fast since this is an Intel i7 from 2013, but it's not that slow. It only takes a 13 minute 4K resolution video to download within 30 minutes, which is not bad for a 10 year old MacBook. Another small problem is if you like to update to the latest OS, this thing is not supported by Apple anymore, but you can get a 2015 for $100 more, but even that's on this last year of macOS support, so it's not even worth it at the end of the day. Now this thing does update to Big Sur, which is not too old, but in about 3-4 to four years, apps are going to require updates to use them. But like I said, we can use patches and patchers to um, update it to the latest OS, which is not a big deal at the end of the day. Now let's talk about the screen. This screen looks amazing in 2023. This was the second year of the Retina displays, but you know what's else crazier? They still use the same screens in 2023. The only difference has changed is the bezels have gotten smaller. The brightness is pretty good in the sun, to be honest. It's not the best like the newer ones, but it gets the job done. You can still see in the sun pretty goodly. Now let's talk about the ports on this thing. It has 8 ports on it. 1 HDMI, 2 USBs, 1 memory card slot, 2 Thunderbolt ports, and a Mac safe charger. Which has saved my MacBook from falling and hitting the ground a lot. Which is a plus. And another thing is, it was so frustrating when Apple removed these in 2016, all these ports. We needed so many adapters and finally they listened to us and brought them back in 2021 for the M1. Thank you Apple. Now let's talk about the charger on this thing. The charger is 85 watts, which is amazing, but if you break it, it is going to cost a pretty penny to replace it since it is 85 watt charger, which is going to cost around 50 to 85 dollars for an OEM one. Now for the speakers. The speakers are not the best sounding like the newer ones, so if you're looking for this MacBook to have the best sounding system, well, this is not the one for you, but it does have the best sounding sound system in 2013. It, now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't sound bad right now, and here's a sound sample for it. Now to end this video, would I buy this thing for video editing? 
No, just because it can get choppy and laggy, it also has a long downloading time compared to the new M1. So if you're looking for a video editing uh, computer, definitely get the new M1 or a 2017 iMac or newer. Would I buy this thing for school, web searching, or watching YouTube videos? Yes, this thing does amazing at that. And that's pretty much what it does good at. Now, I'm not saying this thing is horrible at video editing, it's just it's very choppy and sometimes it can get impossible with video editing on it. It can be very frustrating. I tried it and I edited on my iMac. So with that, I give it a 7 out of 10. It is a very solid 10 year old computer, uh, by all means. This thing is amazing for 10 years old. So there my friends, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Until next time, see you in the next one.